guys, it's me again, Phoebe. Today I'm going to do a little review on The Falls by Jen Larkin. Um, last week I'm pretty sure I uploaded my review on The Shadow Girl by Jen Larkin. Um, so check that out as well. I'll leave the link below. Um, this is my second book by Jen Larkin and it's my second signed book. So excited! Whoops. And in it, he wrote to me to my dearest Phoebe, I hope the poor speaks to you. Follow your dreams with all your heart. With thanks and respect, John Larkin. Thanks, John. Um, so I talked a little about this in my June wrap up because I read it last month. And I don't know why I paused then. <laughs> pause the pause. Ha! Anyway, so um, just a little recap. Um, the pause follows Declan who's 17 I believe, and it follows his decision to commit suicide. He doesn't go out um, in the day planning to kill himself. Um, he, In the beginning of the book he talks about his nerve endings um, bursting and pain. Um, what does he actually say? He says, as, it's as if my, all my nerve endings are being twisted and contorted. There's no relief. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I want to do. I just want the pain to stop. I want my nerve endings to stop crying out as if they're about to rupture. But that's not about to happen e ever. I'll be stuck with this agony for the rest of my pathetic existence. Um... So he's talking about all this pain and everything and he doesn't understand it and he doesn't know why it's there and he just wants it to end. Um, so he goes about his day and uh, it just all builds up to this point when he's at the train station and there's a train coming and he decides to jump in front of it. Um, there's a point just before where there's a point where he can pour if he pauses um, it would save his life and if he doesn't he'd die and at this point his life splits into two and he sees what would happen if he did commit suicide um, if he did jump in front of the train which is a very detailed and a fairly gruesome description of what would happen but it's true um, and then he sees his life play out if he chooses not to. Um, and uh, it jumps between those two point of views and it also jumps between times so it'll be like five seconds before, um, an hour after, a week after and it gets to be years after and it, all that. So time jumps a bit. When it's in his point of view, when he's dead, he's in this non-space. And that's what the chapters are called. The chapters are called non-space. Whereas the other chapters are a bit, bit, like I said, are called like seven years after, five minutes before, a week after, and so on. And so it just talks about, in the non-space it talks about what happened and um, reminding you that he is dead and that um, this is not what he wanted. He didn't want to exist at all but he's still existing in this non-space whereas in the section that um in the half that split into him living he continue uh, it follows his life as if he lived um and going through everything understanding his depression anxiety understanding why he wanted to do what he did and why the pain was there so much and um, how he can recognize if he starts to go into that point again and yeah it has a lot of beautiful heart touching moments that just make you think and I've marked them as you can see and um, I've highlighted in green <laughs> um, but yes so and then at the end it goes back to a few seconds before and he, he makes a choice whether to pause or not to pause um, throughout the book, it it tells you about these moments in life that are what you live for. These moments that have drastic impact on your life, whether good or bad. And the good ones are what are 
are why you live and why you are the person that you are and it's just amazing and he constantly talks about um, his thinking that he paused it's the pause is the reason he's here without this pause he wouldn't experience all that has happened I don't want to spoil too much um, and so yeah it's a great book um, I was so excited I was reading on this bus I had an appointment and so I was reading it on the bus and I got to this point where <laughs> I was like oh this sounds really familiar I was like oh, okay and I care for Eddie and I care for Eddie and the shadow girl makes an appearance and her name is Denica in here and <sighs> it was so exciting for her to be in there because I'm like oh my god and so yeah that's like yeah so that was really exciting to have um, her in that and yeah so it was a beautiful book I loved it I loved reading it thank you John Larkin for signing it and for telling me that I should read it and yes so very excited for that um, so yes you guys should buy it you should read it and if you have read it or whatever um, comment below and tell me what you think I'll be excited to know what you, what you thought of the book um, so yeah I think that's it for that oh I got a little bookmark for it as well which I used uh, happy reading to you all I will see you guys next time